Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about aggregations in Salesforce Marketing Cloud and how you can use them using a SQL or Deselect. So when do you need to use aggregation functionality in SFMC? Uh, the examples can be the following. For instance, you would like to count the number of orders for each customer. You would like to calculate the average order value for each customer. You would like to maybe count the number of emails sent to each subscriber in the certain period of time. Or you would like to get the value of the highest order for each customer in a certain period of time. So in order to do a uh, all of those uh, segmentations you would like to use uh, SQL for this. So how to use aggregations using SQL? Uh, this is a great uh, indeed tool uh, to aggregate in data which is a similar to creating a pivot table in Excel and the functions are actually quite similar to the one in Excel or any other analytics program. So for instance the group by statement uh, groups rows that have the same values into summary rows like find the number of customers in each country. The group by statement is often uh, used with the different aggregate functions that you can now see uh, on the screen. So the functions like average, count, minimum, maximum and sum. So today I'm going to talk about aggregations that uh, allow you to do a count or another aggregation on uh, another data extension or data view and store the results in your target data extension. So uh, in the scenario that I'm going to use uh, aggregation is that I would like to find the number of times each subscriber has opened an email in the last 30 days. But I would like to do not only that, but I would also like to limit the results to the first 20% of subscribers. So here is how the result in SQL query will uh, look like. Uh, so we are selecting the top 20% here. Uh, we're using uh, aggregations. Um, as you can see, we use count uh, function of the aggregation uh, because we would like to count how many times uh, each subscriber has opened the email in the last 30 days. Uh, we're doing this by extracting the data from the data view open and uh, we're also using a uh, customer's uh, data extension where, which actually uh, has the information about the customers that we would like to have in our target data extension like email and first name in order to target, target them. Uh, and this is basically it. Aggregation can be only a part of the uh, segmentation process that you would like to perform. Uh, and uh, if you don't want to learn SQL to uh, segment your audience in Salesforce Marketing Clouds, there is also a solution like Deselect, which is a no-code segmentation solution for Salesforce Marketing Clouds. And now I'm going to show how to recreate the scenario that uh, I've created using SQL in Deselect. So now I'm going to show how to recreate the same scenario using Deselect. So the first thing that we need to do is to actually open Deselect, which can be found in Salesforce Marketing Cloud under App Exchange here. Then you will be redirected to this overview screen and from here we're going to click on New Selection. We're going to start with giving a name to our new selection. We're going to simply call it Aggregate. And now from the available data extensions, we're going to drag and drop data extension customers to the right. Here we can provide alias for our data extension, but we're not going to do this and save it as it is. Now we can move on to target definition. And here we can select a target data extension from the existing ones or create one on the fly. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to simply call it uh, example DE. We can choose the location for it, uh, make sure if it's ascendable or testable and provide retention policy and press save. Then from our source data extension customers, we're going to drag and drop a field to our target DE. So we're going to choose ID, first name, and uh, email. And now we're going to actually do the aggregation. So under custom values here we can click add new value. So the name of this value is uh, number of emails 
and what type do we want to add is aggregation the last one and press next here we're redirected to this screen here we can choose from basic and advanced aggregation we're going to go with the basic one so we need to decide what do we want to aggregate and we want to aggregate open per customers and what do we want to calculate we want to have the count so count number of records and that's uh, not uh, the end we're going to also add some filters uh, we're going to filter on the event date we're going to go with uh, uh, is after choose relative before now and select 30 days before now I'm going to move myself here press save and save here again and now I'm going to simply drag and drop this new field to our target DE and save our data extension we would also like to uh, limit our results to the first uh, 20% so we're going to press on the settings uh, tool and press on sort and limit uh, turn it on choose 20% and we're going to sort by number of emails and descending and press save and now we can move on to the preview and press run preview preview will bring us the first 20 results out of our target uh, selection and if we're satisfied with the results that we see we can always press run and it will be run inside Salesforce Marketing Cloud and our target data extension will be populated but if we are not satisfied we can always go back and do the necessary changes so the preview return us this result so we have the ID first name email and number of emails uh, per customer so we can see uh, the different numbers here uh, and uh, we're satisfied with this results and that's it for today's video I uh, hope it was useful make sure to subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this and also subscribe to our newsletter the link you can find in the description to this video uh, that way you're always the first to find out about the SFMC best practices and uh, valuable tips and tricks thank you for watching and bye